All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hopping right back into another IRL baseball video. Today, we're gonna find out if I can build a baseball bat out of pencils. Let's go. All right, people, what's up? Welcome back. We're inside. I'm not gonna be able to yell like I usually do, so we're gonna have to talk a little bit quieter because the echo is pretty bad in here. But yeah, we got six boxes of these pencils. Each box holds, uh, what is it? I think it's, what is it? 144. Four, yeah, 144 number two pencils right here. And I don't even know how to do this, bro. Like, this is probably gonna be the biggest fail, but we won't know until we try, because like what, like Michael Scout once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And in this case, you miss 100% of the bats you don't build. What? I don't know, but let's get building this thing. So what I think I'm gonna do is start with like the handle, and I think I'm just gonna build like a three to five, wait, now how long's a bat? It's like 32 inches. So like 33 inches would be like, well, almost three feet about, yeah, about three feet. Now that's 36, a little shorter than three feet long spear about this thick. We're gonna tape it all up and then we're gonna add some more to the barrel to make it a little bit thicker, okay? That's the approach right now. Let's go, baby. Boom, look at that. Step one, complete, handle done. Not really, we might need a few more rolls around this so they don't all fall apart, but we got plenty of tape. See, now this is the part where uh, I don't know what to do. How do I connect these two together? Maybe I go like around it so it just gradually gets bigger. Ooh, that could actually be it, boys. That could actually be it. Um, dude, I don't know what to do. Oh my God, this is way harder than I thought. Oh God. Okay, I got it. So this is gonna be the smallest piece, okay? The next one is gonna be a little bit bigger. See how that one's a little bit bigger right there? We're just gonna tape these together and then when I go and attach these two, I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna put a pencil like over it and all the way around so they like stay together. You feel me? This is like, dude, I feel like I'm Elon Musk here building a freaking spaceship. God dang it. Freaking duct tape, bro, are you kidding me? Yes, let's go, baby. I'm telling you, dude, this is gonna work. I know some of you guys might see the title and say, Mighty, you're a freaking moron, bro. You can't build a bat out of pencils. Well, uh, sorry to break it to you. I'm really smart, okay? There's the start. We might need to go a little bit thicker on the next one, but I'm gonna build like five of these, and I think that's probably gonna be as long as our bat's gonna be, I guess, dude. I don't know. So I'm thinking I build a barrel right now, and I don't know what, oh my God. That was almost catastrophic. So I'm thinking the barrel is gonna be about that thick. That's what she said, but really though, I think that looks like a good sized barrel for a baseball bat. Um, might be a little thin, might be a little big actually, dude, I don't know. Oh God, I did this out of order. I should have pulled the tape off first, but. Oh my God, this tape, dude. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh great. Now the air conditioner turned on. I hope you guys don't hear it, if you do. Sorry, I need an extra five hands, dude. Oh my God, okay, come on. Is that gonna work? I don't think so, dude. We got pencil sliding out, no. Do the pencil slide out of this one? Kind of, oh my God, I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. My doggy's barking. I'm probably getting robbed. Ooh, this is a lot easier how I just did that. Boom. Nice. Dude, I honestly think that can hit a baseball. I mean, that is like, I don't know, probably like 40 pencils maybe in there. It's looking good. I think this is gonna work. Boom, okay, I think the easy part is now done. We got the barrel, we got the handle, and we got all the in-between. So, now it's time to start actually constructing the freaking bat, baby, woo! I just realized if I hit a baseball with these, and it explodes, I'm gonna have to pick up a thousand pencils. Oh my God, well. Yeah, this is where it's gonna suck, boys. I have no idea what to do. Oh wait, maybe I do this. I'm gonna lay down the tape, okay? We are going to lay the pencils on here like this, so that we don't have to do it afterwards. These are gonna attach these two together like this. Nice, okay. Might need a little bit more tape. <sighs> this looks good. No, it doesn't. That looks freaking horrible. <laughs> oh my God, okay. 
Dude, it would just be so nice if I could just saw this end off, dude. Like if I could just go zoom, chop that right off, we would be looking so good, dude. Dude, why does this side look so much better? What did I do wrong on this side, dude? I don't get it. <laughs> dude, this is looking nuts. It's actually working. Honestly, pretty stable. Might have used a few too many pencils, but that's all right. I mean, <laughs> Claire Bear is now seeing the bat for the first time, and she is in shock. It's hard being a scientist, babe. This is so heavy. This weighs 20 pounds, at least. And now I think the final step here, okay, is I'm going to add one pencil in the connector spots to add a little stability, and I think we're set. I think. Boom, you feel me? Just a little extra stability. I'm telling you, it is gonna work. We're gonna hit a 700 foot shot. Okay, now I just gotta tape these down, and I think we're set. I think we're freaking set. That might be it, boys. The handle's not amazing, but overall, I think it's gonna work. I might need to tape here a little bit. I'm giving it the Barry Bonds handle, baby. <laughs> yeah! All right, we're back outside, and here are the pencils we started with, and here's what we came up with. Boom. Yeah, there it is. If you guys want a closer look at it, I would honestly say, uh, compared to a baseball bat, it's close. It's not spot on. It's close. It probably weighs... Uh, 61 ounces and we're just gonna hit it off the tee okay we're not going to a real baseball field because I have a strong feeling that I couldn't hit this ball over the fence so or this I couldn't uh, I have a strong feeling I couldn't hit a ball over the fence with this bad boy but we're gonna hit one off the tee and see how this goes put on your safety goggles because you might die here you might die and yeah we got to have as much protection as possible so we're gonna put on the old batting gloves and I think we're gonna start with a blitz ball just to see okay this very well could break after the first hit and I hope it doesn't that would suck oh my god should I just go for it yeah okay I didn't want to swing too hard hit number one not too shabby all right let's swing a little bit harder here Okay, we're just gonna say screw it. We're gonna go straight to a baseball, okay? Straight to it. Now, right now, pause the video and let me know what you think's gonna happen. Is the bat going to explode? Is it gonna get smashed up the middle? Is it gonna just break in half? Let me know in the comment section below. Pause it and do it. Let's go. Okay, that was boring. Okay, well, I just smashed that ball up the middle. Now we're gonna take a little mammo whammo. Ah! Right, I'm gonna swing like 30, like 45% here. I think we lost a few pencils, I think. Yeah, we might have only lost one pencil. I see it. <laughs> Whoa! Actually, fun fact, when I was a kid, probably like two, I stabbed myself roof of the mouth with a pencil. Blood everywhere, no joke, I'm not lying. I was running with the pencil, slipped freak, straight up to the roof of the mouth. So don't run with pencils, kids. Okay, it's got a lot, it's got a lot more wiggle than it did, so watch out. We lost two pencils that time. You want to see how far these things went? Here's pencil number one. That's probably 200 feet. No, that's probably what, 90 feet? Yeah, it's probably 90 feet away. Okay, update. Through like two or three pretty solid hits. Um, the bat has not broken yet. Yes, pencils fly out, but they're only flying out of the top. So none of these are breaking, which means my structure is absolutely flawless. This design, impeccable, bro. But if we had a piece of tape just to go right on top, we're set. This, br this bat is not breaking, but that's no fun. We're gonna keep swinging. But look right here, boys. The tape right here is starting to break. So I think if this breaks, we potentially could see all these pencils whoosh, flying straight out. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but let's go one more swing here and I'm gonna swing a little bit harder. And just for fun, I'm gonna have Claire Bear radar it to see how fast we can hit it. Now, I'm not swinging 100%, so it's not gonna be like 95, but it could be like 30, I don't know. That could have been so dangerous. Oh my God. No, all I'm saying is thank God it flew this way, not backwards. That would have went straight at Claire's face. Imagine if it breaks off here and it goes. That would kill her, but we're losing a lot of pencils. God dang it. So we're no joke missing about 50 pencils and I have found three, so. Also, just so you know, that ball went 51 miles an hour. 
Hey. Okay, so overall, the pencil bat, incredible. No pencil actually broke. It was just the attachment. So I'm gonna blame the duct tape on why that just happened, okay? So if we would've used thicker duct tape, more duct tape, it would've went perfect. But if you guys wanna see me build a bat out of rubber bands, click over there, all right? And if you wanna subscribe, click down there. If you haven't already, smash the like button. I'm out of here, I'll see you in the next Arrow Baseball video. Oh, peace.